You know what also is a bad look, though? Whoo! Very bad look. And that is actor Allison Mack. Now, Allison Mack is getting out of prison. Her bad look has been that orange jumpsuit she's been wearing in prison for the past couple of years. Ooh. Very bad look. But honestly, uh, whew, this small little actor, like she, I mean, everybody probably heard about this a couple of years ago. But 40 years old, getting out of a federal prison in California. This, this picture is from on Monday. She pleaded guilty in her role for sex trafficking case linked to a cult. It's called uh, Exum or ne- Nexium. They're called Nexium. Nexium. They're called. So yeah. So Nexium. Apparently, the main guy, Keith Ranier, he was, I mean, running these these meetings. You know, people are paying thousands and thousands of dollars. He was a you know a motivational speaker trying to help them out. And then after a certain while, certain women he would start targeting apparently, and then he would keep them on starvation diets. He brand them actually with his initials, and then he would order some of them to actually have sex with him. And there was a whole thing that went on for a long time. And of course, it was disguised as a self help thing, like a week retreat, pay five thousand dollars, something like that. And Allison Mack was part of this. She was like helping recruit women, and she was helping him out. But again. She went forward and she testified against him and she was very cooperative with the investigators. Of course, they brought her in first. And so she only got three years. I mean, she got off a good, you know, good behavior pretty much. Now, if she wouldn't have had the cooperation, she would have been in jail for 14 to 17 and a half years. He's in jail for a 120 year sentence. So, I mean, that's a lot of difference. I'm surprised she got out right now, but she got out of jail and she was sentenced in 2021 and she's already out now. So she She cooperated. (laughs) Womp, 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 womp. I don't know, but I, but I, but I saw this and I was kind of shocked because this was a big deal and I'm surprised they let it out early. I, I just, for me, I am, I thought they just like, especially you got such a good deal as it was make her serve the whole time. Of course, she said that she's going to go out there and, you know, live with all this for the rest of her life and all the victims that she hurt. But w- of course you would, unless you're, you know, a devil in disguise. I don't know. But Rachel, you hear about this. What do you think? Do you think this is fine that she got out early? Or do you think that it should have been a harsher punishment for her after all the women that were hurt because of the recruitment? I think it's a complicated issue. Um, I'm not overly versed on the subject. Um, so I would like to know, you know, when she got in, but was it already up and running or did she get in on the ground level? Because she very she well could have been she was also she was abused right. rachel but she was pretty clearly also an abuser oh absolutely it doesn't absolve her of her her crimes but she may have also been a victim those cults totally, the indoctrination totally. is insane Not, no, yeah. exclusive so it's it's a complicated issue um she did serve some justice and i'm sure she's has her parole has some very specific things in it so she's going to still have to she probably is not allowed on social media at like big group functions. Like there's, there's certain things put in place to make sure that she doesn't commit this sort of crime again. Um, no so I'm all for, for rehabilitation. <laughs> so rehabilitate her, get her in some fucking therapy. Let's not let this happen again. Yeah. I, I mean, that's a, it's a big thing that I, I can't even imagine like joining something and then all of a sudden, like it turns into this whole thing where it's like a, a sex cult. Like that's that's. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be someone that's really good at manipulating people, which he was. Mm-hmm. Uh, BSP said in the chat too. He said, "Fuck her." <laughs> truth be, just like truth be told, which that's one way of going about it. BSP for sure, you know. But which is I just why, think like, that, which is why I said what I did. Like, if she came in on the ground yeah. level, if she was like from yeah. day one yeah. with that guy, like also manipulating things, then she's just yeah. as complicit. She as wasn't he is. from but day if... one. The thing is, the person who was day one from him, like the uh-huh. first follower that gave him legitimacy, was yeah. the first one to flip. So she got a better deal. She didn't end up serving. <laughs> any jail time. Oh. Oh, see, there you go. Maybe it would have been better for her. She would have been day one. Do you guys see see any of the documentaries that were associated with this case? I haven't, I no. Was really good. point, but I don't remember a lot of it. I think Stars, I don't know if it was Stars or Showtime. Maybe it was Showtime did one that was a little bit, it gave some details and it was slightly more on the salacious mm-hmm. side. Uh, but the HBO documentary documentary for it is excellent. Um I'm I'm not too familiar on Allison Mack's whole story, other than the fact like that. If if you're gonna flip, you gotta be the first to flip. Like you gotta get in there <laughs> so you can get so you can say, hey, hey, DA, yeah. you can take all these motherfuckers down. You just gotta let me. You just gotta let me <laughs> out the door. 
Uh, so that's the way to do it. Don't rat. Don't rat on your friends. But if you're going to rat on your friends, do it fast. That's my Do advice. it fast Mike. and be first. If you're going to talk to the FBI, fast. do it immediately. Do it fast, be first. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, I, she was on Smallville. She should know. Like, just like the blur. Moving really well, fast. Blur, yeah, you know, yeah. move as fast as yeah, you can. Yeah. That's absolutely true. But, uh, I was I was surprised to see this, Brian, when you told me that uh, this was um, one of the uh, issues that we we're going to be talking about tonight. Because in my feed today was that uh, uh, Nikki Klein, who played Callie on Battlestar Galactica, and who had been one of the people that was, like, outside of of jail had still been supporting Keith Rainieri. Like once oh. everything had collapsed, yes. like w was still saying like, no, like we've got you, Keith. She just released a statement that said like, wow, like I'm now realizing like what, like the damage that had been done to other people. And I'm, I'm recontextualizing like what happened to me without this belief in this, in the fact that this guy is doing like whatever he can to help humanity. And I, I have, I, I'm with you, Rachel. I have the greatest level of sympathy for people that can get involved in this sort of situation. I think that everyone is susceptible to it. Um, and I, I think that if thinking that you're not susceptible to it is one of the best ways to accidentally get involved in something like this. Um, oh, if so... we lived in like the 60s or 70s, I 100% would have been <laughs> recruited by a cult. Like, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> you think yeah, so? Because you're you you're because you because you care a lot, right? And you want to be right. involved. You want to help other people, like, and you want. Well, it's to about have community too. So they go after people Absolutely. who find a lack of community, involve mm -hmm. them, and then it's really easy to get vulnerable people to believe whatever you want them to be, as long as you tell them you love them. Yep, brainwashing, like Gr uh, said, too, happens very easily. It's like ex, people like flock to that. Rachel. Like that's what that's what <laughs> that's where everybody says. Like, um, so. You know, hopefully, Al I, I can see why Allison got out quick if she, you know, and it, it's a question like, you know, the abused becomes the abuser. Who does right. that ab absolve them of responsibility? No, like, but then also, does it make her, her extra shitty because she flipped right away? Like, or, or it, is she actually seeing the her role in something? Because it was definitely about female empowerment. And there's no doubt that that people felt empowered in his program like they definitely mischaracterized the way that they provided that it wasn't something that couldn't be found elsewhere um so hopefully she did her time she uh she and she doesn't have to hang out with keith anymore and she can uh yeah have her sins absolved for her well, I mean, hopefully, <laughs> but hopefully she's, she's not like, get has... any more acting roles. That's for sure. She, she, we'll see. she might not. You never know, though. You never know. People come back all the time. Like That's we said, she like so before. Press. She had so much yeah. press. Like, why wouldn't you just hire her just because people know her name now? She's it might happen. She was from small, women though. have a harder time coming back from it. Just in general, yeah. women get killed by the press and they don't get to make a recovery. Like, look how long it took for Winona Ryder to have her career back after shoplifting. Wow. Like, such a novelty thing. You're right. That's yeah. fucking nonsense. It's fucked up. Like, who cares? That's super fun. Right? Yeah, who cares? You're right. Wow. Look at Robert, Robert Down Jr. is, like, sleeping in people's beds and stuff like that and doing massive lines of strippers and, and hookers and coke and all that, you know what I mean? And doing Rob all of it. And he's best. sex tape with an underage girl and he's, like, beloved now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, it's true. It's true. People come back. <laughs>